In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create cinematic titles in Premiere Pro. To get started, I'm just going to right click in my project panel and then go to New Item Black Video. Then I'll drag the black video onto my timeline and extend it to around 7 seconds. If you can't see the individual seconds like me, drag this bar down here to zoom into your timeline. Next, click the text tool and type out your desired text. And I'm just going to drag the text clip's duration so that it matches my black video. Make sure your text is selected and go over to Effect Controls. In here, I'm using the Lato font, which is available for free on the Adobe font site. I'm also going to set my font size to 90. Then change the tracking setting to 300 to create some spacing between your letters. To center the text, go over to the Graphics tab up here. Select Edit, and then click these two alignment buttons to center your text horizontally and vertically. Position your time marker at the start of your text clip and go back up to Effect Controls. In Effect Controls, open up the Opacity settings. Change the opacity to 0 to create a starting keyframe. Move your time marker to the 2 second mark and change the opacity to 100 to create a second keyframe. Move the time marker to the 4 second mark and click the circle to create a keyframe at the time marker's current position. Move the time marker to the 6 second mark and change the opacity to 0 to create a 4th keyframe. Ok, and now our text fades in and out, but let's make it look smoother. Drag to select all your keyframes and then right click one of them and select Auto Bezier. Ok, now that looks smoother and more professional. Next, let's go up to the motion settings. Reposition the time marker at the start of your text clip. Click the stopwatch next to scale to create a starting keyframe. Move the time marker to your last keyframe's position and increase it to 110. Now our text looks like it's growing slightly. For one final touch, I'm going to go down to the effects panel and search for Gaussian Blur. Drag Gaussian Blur onto your text layer. Make sure your text layer is selected and then go back up to Effect Controls. Position your time marker at the start of your text clip. Under Gaussian Blur, click the stopwatch next to Blurriness and change the blurriness to 50 to create a certain keyframe. Move the time marker to the 2 second mark and change the blurriness back to 0. Then move the time marker to the 4 second mark and click this little circle next to Blurriness to create another keyframe at 0 blurriness. Move the time marker to the 6 second mark and change the blurriness back to 50. Ok, and now when I play this back, I have nice looking cinematic text that blurs in and out in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and see you next time.